Hello, this is Dr. James McCall with some tips on some very important questions you should ask before choosing a new dentist. You should ask these questions to any dental office before agreeing to dental care. I'm going to share with you some insider secrets that most consumers don't know. So let's begin. Dental care is more comfortable, it's more accurate, it's more methodical and practically pain-free now than it has ever been. When most people think of going to the dentist, they think of pain, being uncomfortable, and are most likely scared. However, with the new methods and advancements in dentistry, you can have more comfortable care with less pain and anxiety. In the past, people only thought of going to the dentist only when they were in pain. But now it is common to go to the dentist to prevent cavities and root canals, as well as to make your teeth whiter, more attractive, straighter, stronger, and to treat and prevent gum disease. So if you're experiencing oral pain, bleeding gums, missing teeth, or you're looking for a straighter, more beautiful smile for you or your family, then a dentist may be the right choice for you. But before you're convinced that any dentist can help you, you must be aware that not all dentists are the same, and choosing the wrong dentist could be a big mistake. In a moment, you will discover important questions you must ask before choosing any dentist. Dentists do a wide range of things, from relieving pain, to pulling teeth, to assisting patients in achieving the wider, brighter, more beautiful smile they've always wanted. Some dentists specialize in helping people with getting stronger, more reliable teeth with procedures like placing crowns and bridges. Some specialize in straightening teeth with braces or with Invisalign. So what should you ask a dentist before agreeing to dental care? Let's review these issues now. Prior to care, a dentist should ask detailed questions about your past and present dental health and order x-rays or other tests when necessary. Whether you go see the dentist for basic dental care or for cosmetic improvements, he or she should be looking for potential problems such as cavities, gum disease, oral cancer, cracked teeth, weakened and oversized fillings, as well as ways to improve the strength healthiness and appearance of your teeth and smile. Then he or she will come up with a diagnosis and a recommended action plan. So for starters, do not agree to get care from any dentist that does not provide you with a very clear explanation of what is causing or contributing to your dental problem, an estimate of the cost involved, the number of visits needed, and how long you will be in the dental chair, a recommended action plan that details what specific care is needed and why. Unfortunately, there are a small number of doctors, including dentists, who treat every patient pretty much the same regardless of their condition. As you would expect, there's a lot that doctor must know before you can decide what care is best for you in your specific situation. He or she will want to know if your problem is caused or aggravated by anything such as a broken tooth, a missing tooth, or some structural problem. Or, is it a simple problem that can be resolved within a reasonable period of time? Here's what you should know and the questions you should ask before choosing any dentist. First, what areas do you specialize in? The correct answer is, some dentists are only proficient in treating certain conditions or doing certain treatments. Some doctors may specialize in implants, orthodontics, TMJ, cosmetics, family dentistry, and the list can go on and on. The problem is that some dentists have only done one or two cases for certain conditions, and this may not be to your benefit if you want someone more experienced. Second, do you take x-rays when necessary and are they digital x-rays? Be sure to seek a dentist who takes x-rays to rule out fracture or a gross pathology. Caring for a patient without x-rays is like flying in the dark without radar. Unfortunately, there are some serious conditions that can first express themselves with oral or bone pain. There are some really quick and fast ways a dentist can now use x-rays so you can watch them on a computer screen and he or she can show you what is exactly wrong and what the best treatment option would be. We often do this in our office. Our digital x-rays lower radiation levels up to 90% when compared to the old film type x-rays. If the doctor you're consulting doesn't take x-rays before recommending treatment, you should consider talking to another dentist. Third. Will you give me your recommendations in writing? This is very important. This allows you to go home and think about it before making a decision. Plus, it gives you an explanation up front of what the care will consist of, how long it will take, and how much it will cost. 
4. Can you furnish me with references? Ask for four references. Two of these references should be current patients and the other two should be other healthcare professionals like other dentists. There are three reasons for getting patient and professional references. First, any person in practice should have at least two satisfied patients they can provide you with. Secondly, if a dentist cannot produce two other professionals that will attest to his or her ability as a dentist, he or she may not be respected by his or her peers. Last, other professionals in the community see all kinds of things and will usually be aware of what kind of care is available and what kind of quality is provided by different folks. Feel free to call the references you receive. You can never learn too much about the person you're considering using for your dental needs. Take a few minutes to talk to these people. Five, what are my payment options? For example, cash, check, or what kind of credit cards are accepted? Successful practices usually allow patients to pay over time with third-party financing with low or no interest payment options. This allows you to get the care you want without financial stress. Does your dentist accept your insurance and do they file the insurance for you? Six, do you have a no waiting policy? This is important. A recent patient survey revealed that what irritates patients the most is when the doctor and the staff do not respect their time and make them wait excessively in the waiting room. Now often unforeseen circumstances occur such as an unscheduled patient who is up all night in agonizing pain needing treatment. And I'm sure most waiting patients would understand that. But some offices routinely overbook, kind of like an airline, and then you get bumped except you don't get any free tickets at most dental offices. Now most doctors claim their patients don't have to wait excessively. But if the doctor you're willing to talk to isn't willing to make such a waiting time agreement or compensation, they may not be as respectful of your time as you deserve. Seven, do you have criteria for determining how many visits I need? This is another good one. Some doctors do not have an objective method to determine how many visits are necessary to relieve your pain or get you the desired result you're looking for and to maintain your newly found state of excellent health. They make subjective guesses about your initial treatment and progress. I do progress exams in my office along the way to make sure we are on track. This procedure tells us exactly when we are done with the initial care and how we're doing in maintaining the results you're looking for. That way you don't have to get more visits than you actually need. Make sure to find out that the dentist you're talking to measures progress and whether it's routine or not. Eight, will you show me ways of preventing what you're treating? I saw a sign the other day in a dentist office that read, support your dentist, eat more candy. Although I know he was joking, we spend a considerable amount of time customizing simple and easy ways for you to keep your gums and teeth healthy no matter what current problem you or your family is having. You'll be thrilled to find out how quick and easy it is to prevent continuous and unnecessary dental problems. This ensures that you and your family will get the most out of your office visits, decrease the chance of having dental problems, and in the long run, save you money. Nine, do you offer free consultations or low cost new patient exams? There's no way a doctor should expect a patient to choose him or her without first visiting the office to see if the office, the staff, and the doctor is for them. This will also give you a chance to talk to any of our patients while they are coming in or going out. Initially, I provide a free, no obligation consultation to determine if I can help you and answer any questions you may have about your condition or my treatment. No one in my office is going to pressure you into care. This is simply a chance for you to meet us and see if our services can benefit you. If after your free consultation you decide you don't want to proceed with an exam, you simply leave and that is that. If however you do find that you could use our help, we will discuss the details of how we will proceed from there. Well, I hope this information will give you the confidence in taking the first step in regaining your health by experiencing the benefits of dental care. And by the way, in our office, we do cosmetics and family dentistry. We employ diagnostic tests such as digital x-rays. We furnish you with our recommendations and expected cost in writing. We furnish you with patients and professional references upon request. We offer payment plans with a special line of credit. We provide you with customized design prevention techniques. I urge you to take a tour of my office and take advantage of my free, absolutely no obligation consultation to discuss your situation. 
Thank you for watching and feel free to log on to my website at jamesjmccall.com or give my office a call at 620-9225.